Hi, this is Danielle Zonia. I'm doing a blog. Um, as you know, quite recently it's been in the news everywhere about um, Nelson Mandela. And um, what I don't like about it is everyone is like climbing, climbing into this um, Nelson bandwagon thing. And even people infected by the money disease are going, are um, profiting from it. Um, as you know, um, Nelson Mandela, what not many people know about, um, despite um, um, allowing freedom, um, providing freedom and that for the people of South Africa, because there was very much segregation and apartheid. And I basically have been brought up from the, you know, from the dregs of apartheid through my early years. And there was a lot of... Um, Ceased a lot of uh, brainwashing, um, as well as religious brainwashing, um, racial brainwashing, uh, when I was brought up. Um, um, but in the end, you see, as you grow older, you you know you question reality, you question the uh, the dogma and um, what it, you know the the um, the um, opinions on what you think instead of how to think. Um, at the moment, um, um, my parents there, they still have um, issues towards the um, uh, native African people um, because they don't realize that uh, the reason why um, there's a lot of, still a lot of crime and everything over there is because of poverty. And there's also the point like, oh, there's a lot of poverty and all that, and, um, and they always bring out uh, that, um, you know, um, European people are the superior race, very much like Nazis. Um, but um, what I'm saying is, um, there's very much of that uh, mental programming that I've brought up with. Um, now, what I'm going to cover is um, David Campbell. Um, there is a, a thing that's been going around the internet. I've been sharing it as well. I even made a, a, a humorous video um, expressing my um, feelings and emotions on how hypocritical uh, David Cameron, Cameron is. And he has the audacity to um, have a speech and even sign a, a book. Uh, I don't can't remember what the book was um, this morning on TV and all that. I just, I just like my blood pressure just started boiling. It's like you know, um, what a hypocrite. Um, basically, David Cameron, back in his school years, uh, uh, he would. Um, when he was back in the school years, he actually was part of the conservative group or political party in his college um, that made posters, badges, flags, banners, all that um, uh, to um, hang Nelson Mandela way back, um, um, way back in time, and. Um, he is now trying to provide or instigate um, the mainstream media that uh, this is not true and all that. I don't, I, I, you know, don't fall for his shit. Number one, if he could delete his um, information, um, his false promises from his website. If you could delete that, um, it's very easy to try and manipulate the um, the mainstream media. And what she's doing already, uh, as you see on the news, um, they seem to be pro austerity, and saying that um, taking the money from the poor to the rich is fixing up the economy and all that bullshit. Now, also another thing is. Nelson Mandela's legacy. Not many people know that um, what um, 
what um, good Nelson Mandela wanted to, to actually implement um, was not just uh, bashing the apartheid system only, he was actually wanting to um, national, um, uh, keep the, um, you know, it's something in connection with the banks, uh, nationalize the bank kind of thing. Um, it's a bit gobbledygook, but what I know is that it opposes the um, the wills and wants of uh, the the bankers and all that. And um, when he went to the UK and spoke with Mar Margaret Thatcher, um, Thatcher kind of like said, you know, uh, put like a um, a conform on him that he had to comply and conform um, to certain things what that he could. The changes he could do and the changes he couldn't, because Nelson Mandela was more of a socialist, um, and as you know, at back in the time, um, socialism was actually more of a taboo. Um, um, even even to to this present day, they call it communism and all that. Um, the thing is, because because capitalism is the um, uh, is the you know that's kind of like glorified, and um, communism is like deglorified. Um, I know some people are going to say, "Oh, my communism." Well, the thing is, it, I, I kind of like don't like money at all because it's it's just a money disease. Like no matter what system you have, whether it's um, socialism or communism, if there's money involved and there is authority, you're bound to get. Um, Dishonesty, um, uh, corruption, exploitation. So there's always corruption. But, um, even in the ANC party, political party, corruption. But the focus is not really on the, the ANC party. Nelson Mandela was an extraordinary man. Um, he, I've basically been to Robben Island um, uh, before I came to the UK, and so I found it was pretty coincidental that I had to go to Rock Island. Um, yes, I did spot UFOs, I was monitoring me when I was um, at, um, observing me when I um, went to Robin Island to see what emotions um, I transmitted. Um, you know, especially the way I was brought up in a um, um, brought up with the, you know, with the program, the, the political program, and the ideology, with the apartheid system. Um, the thing is, um, where was I going? Yeah, David, like David Cameron, he's tried to cover up that he was using Eddie's involvement um, with. Uh, his past involvement in his opinions about Nelson Mandela way, way back, uh, claiming that he wanted to hang him. Um, this there is evidence for that he's trying to censor and um, uh, go to the mainstream media and trying to um, what do you call it? Um, throw in garbage um, that he was he didn't do he wasn't involved in all that. Typical. Typical little man, that. Hey, oh, what's another number another thing about David Cameron? He doesn't know how to look after his kitty cat. Um, there's a kitty cat at the number 10 Downing Street. Apparently, um, the cat was being neglected. Um, not really well looked after, um, not getting attention and love. Well, it's getting fed and all that. Um, typical um, testosterone. Bastard of a man um, who doesn't really pay attention to the cat. Um, the cat doesn't like him apparently as well. I don't blame him. I don't blame the cat. <coughs> well, um, so yeah. So everyone I've noticed as well. Everyone is like all the politicians and all that are kind of all the well, you know, famous people. Or saying something about nothing. It's like so hypocritical, to be honest. Um, 
it's you know I just share this video to give um, my viewpoint out. Um, I to be honest, I appreciated Nelson Mandela when he was alive, and when while he was still alive, that's when I went to um, Robben Island you know, to experience and um, to um, set myself on a journey. Um, Sort of like some sort of as I'm, I do have extra sensory perception that um, where I somehow my mind goes back in time and I get like a simulation um, of what happened. Um, some people call this psychic, anyway. Um, but I I kind of like go on a journey uh, where my simulate what might have happened. Sometimes sometimes these things are pretty good uh, accurate. Um so uh, as you know, um I I had my own appreciation and everything um when he was still alive. Um now now he's dead the only thing that I kind of um share is um, you know, try and remind um the existing political puppets about um, about certain things that uh, Nelson Mandela shared and all that. Um, Nelson Mandela is actually he, he's on another planet now. He's he's been he's been um, um, what do you call it um, preserved. Uh, he's on another planet. Uh, he's living now, I think. Um, some people, some people call it kind of Elaine, uh, of Eternus, Eternus, kind of Eternus. It's where all the good people who made an impact on this planet go there. Um, and uh, made a positive impact to progress humanity. Um, so, he's there. And, um, um, what am I going to say again? Um, so, um, um, yes, um, as I'll say, is also what really got my, um, really, what really got me cheesed off was, um, that uh, yesterday, um, David Cameron was having, was, is wanting to implement more austerity, more um, there's going to be more starving people, there's going to be more deaths, um, perhaps more riots, more, more crime, more this, more shitstorm, uh, created by David Cameron. Um, I have tried to forward him information about paradism, apparently that doesn't, you know, rub nicely with his political and religious 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 political ideology. Um, I have tried to you know well I've tried all kinds of methods of trying to yeah, some of them are a bit you know, overboard. But anyway, what you what what can you do when you're trying to get the message across like, you know, you you you're destroying people's lives. You know, you're committing crimes against humanity. What do you do? Um, so, I tried all kinds of things, apparently, he hasn't blocked me, but he's, he's kind of like ignoring me and deleting my posts, so, um, on his Twitter account, so, so that's what he's doing, um, apparently, um, like he's trying to cover up his involvement in the past with Nelson Mandela, um, he also burnt down his corner shop um uh, when he was young youngster and also he was involved with um the murder of Princess Diana and he's apparently kind of squashed the, the truth reconciliation project with that. Um you know the thing is you can't bury the truth no matter what that's why I expressing me Video with the chap on the toilet. The chap, the the, the a Lego man looked like um, the, the Lego video that I found looked like um, um, David Cameron. So he shuts 
was out on the toilet, which meant to explain, shut in the toilet, he thought his ship would get flushed down, gone for good, apparently the ship came up and it starts splattering everywhere. That's basically the truth. The truth is like that shit. It's, um, you, you couldn't, you can't get rid of it. Um, but David Cameron, you're going to get your Armageddon eventually. And you can't continue deleting your uh, false promises. You can't continue deleting your history. Um, what goes on the internet always stays on the internet. I've learned that, yeah, especially with a, a page about me, um, uh, an encyclopedia grammatica, which really mocks about my intersexuality more than anything else, which I feel is, is you know, um, rather fascist. Um, uh, I've I've had problems because of that page, uh, but apparently people are starting to eventually see I'm not completely an arsehole. Uh, well, no one is perfect, and um, everyone is an arsehole at some sort of level. But anyway, um, yeah, just that page mainly was um, going on about my gender issues. Um, so you can't you can't delete your history. What you put on the internet always is on the internet. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I got to say. And uh, no point trying to censor it or censor things because um, even even if it's lies and crap, um, having the the lies and the truth online, eventually the truth tends to stand out more than the lies. And um, that's it. So that's all I have to say. Uh, right.